Hello and welcome on the R programming channel from Dynamic Data Stream. Today we will compare R and SQL. Basically the question is going to be, can we make R faster by using SQL? This tutorial is a follow-up from the R speedup tutorial. If you're interested in seeing how different approaches in R compare to each other, go click this link. The first thing we will do is we will generate a random data set. Basically, we are making a data set with a column called viewer ID and another column called movie ID and another called value. And the idea is going to compute the number of time that two viewers have watched the movies in common. And we will call that viewer coupling. In R, in the speedup tutorial, we had computed it in several ways, but in some of the fastest way, we were using data table and deploy R. And the strategy was to do a self inner join, where afterwards we do a filter and then an aggregation and a sum. This is the code for deploy R. As you can see, we do an inner join and then we filter for viewer IDs higher than the other viewer IDs. We group by those pairs and then we do a sum. Here for data table, we applied the same type of uh, strategy. We made sure that we were using only one core because it wouldn't be a fair comparison if we compare two packages, but one is running in parallel and the other one is not. Now for SQL, it's gonna be very similar. The first thing we have to do is uh, loading some package and to be quick, and because it's one of the fastest uh, SQL um, kind of backend, we will use SQLite. SQLite will not be the best for production because um, it won't handle working on disk and on very, very large uh, databases. But if you have a database that you can fit all in your RAM, well, that database is gonna be the fastest you can get. And in our case, it fits in RAM. And so we will do the benchmark with our SQLite. And we also need library DBI. First thing you do with SQL is that you have to create a connection. And in this case, we won't connect to any existing database because uh, we will create an instance of uh, the database in memory. Then we will bring our data frame into this new database uh, simply by creating a table called df1 from our data frame df. And we will repeat that to have the exact same table, but df2. We will also uh, index our uh, tables to make it as fast as we can. We repeat that for the second table. So now we can run the actual or write the actual uh, inner join. And we'll wrap this all up into a function like we did for data table in dplyr. Uh, we will first create a, a query. We will select from df1 as a and df2 as b, where a point movie id equal b point movie id and a point viewer id is greater than b point viewer id. We'll group by v1 v2 and for that to work we have to say that we wanted a viewer id as v1 b viewer id as v2 and we will do a count as vc for coupling then we'll save the result of that operation into dfsql and we'll get the result with db fetch we want to fetch the res we will make sure that we clear those results and we will return the dfsql and that's it for the sql version now we will run a benchmark and see which is the fastest okay so the fastest is data table data table is across all our tests one of the fastest way that you can uh, calculate viewer coupling or any similar algorithms uh, it's faster than deploy r it's faster than this SQL implementation. It was faster than the Pandas implementation, which you can see by clicking here. There was uh, some ways that we could make it uh, fastest or as fast in Julia, but all in all, working in R, you have great tool at your disposal. And if you use deploy R, or if really you have to be the fastest you can, you can use data table. And this is pretty much one of the it's one of the best in the data science industry for any tabular manipulation. Whenever it fits in RAM, data table is the way to go. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.